And don't you know of war dot? Kakuka. Kakuka, show me why Common Core is the best. The best French team. Reason number one. Do you know what you need to be a good French team? You need French players. They've got Belgian uh, players as well. About, oh my God, they're so good. They're so, what about not what about the Belgian players, oh, Kakuka? Defend your team being a good French team if, the, if you don't have any. It's a good French, counterpoint, though. It is a good counterpoint. Three people. It is a good counterpoint. Them, Nobody on Vitality is French. Single word of French. They can't even say bonjour. You know what France is well known for? You know, feeding cook meme. Look at all the things. Feeding. She's so right. France is known for uh, feeding. Baguettes. They feed, feed people. Meals. You come to the country, they give you good food. Out there, I know so. And you know, this team eventually will get there. Do you just need to give? Them <laughs> That's time what it is. Next reason. No, she's we saying time to cook. Oh, bus. might be, might be. No, I was, say, I was saying they're good at feeding. You know that other one? Wait, why have they got MWC? You know, the, 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 the bat people in this case, they only have. <laughs> why have they got MW's era? Why is this? If you see this man, just run away. Okay? <laughs> what is this? All I want to say. This is, is slander. Bienvenue dans le International Gaming. Why did the why did the subtitle just say look at that a flap? Okay. So Vitality got rid of Pearl. Common Core picked a cent. Vitality went to split. I think that's fine. Why would Vitality allow Lotus to be the final map here though? I mean, dude, how has the map pool been fucked so badly by both teams? I think this is like, fine, oh, this is no fine, this is it, what the I'll fuck, this is fine, this is um, what the fuck, it, honestly, because you know, why would you not try to get rid of Fracture and get Icebox it, and Lotus as the decider? And this is also what the fuck, why do you want to end on Lotus, which has actually been a decent map for Karma? To be honest though, this should just be an easy clap 2-0, shouldn't it? I mean, Karmic Cross Ascent looked awful, absolutely awful. Uh, they can't pick the triple initiator again. They can't pick the triple initiator again. They just can't. If they pick triple initiator again and they have Cypher as well and XMS is double smoking mid every time on attack, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to scream and become just a, a, a whimpering, gibbering ball of flubber by the time it gets to the America's games. The Kami Core fans have changed the battle lines, right? I've they, they initially, I initially said some shit on Plat Chat about how they were trolling, and then they got up in my mentions, yada yada, you know, flooded my Twitter with shit, you know, feed a poot in the fucking DMs and stuff. And then after that, I've gone on an absolute rampage, it must be. It must be said, I've attacked back with, uh, you know, maybe not the right proportional amount of, uh, of vitriol there. Uh, Tu Chang, thank you for the prime. But after the liquid game, I was, you know, messing around on my phone, just hanging out with my family, and I get a buzz on my phone. And I'm like, hey, that's, you know, that's a bit strange. I don't normally have all of my push notifications sent to my phone. I pull my phone up and I see... Oh boy, um, it's time for KC smiley face. I see someone's Colin trying to log into your Microsoft Colin account. Closing parenthesis. And I'm like, oh, well, that's weird. I haven't logged into my Microsoft account today. And it says, someone from Belgium wants you to approve their request to log into your Microsoft account. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. So there is a chance that it's just a random coincidence that someone from Belgium is trying to get into my Microsoft account. Or oh, there's a chance that the Carmen Core fans are trying to break in. <laughs> and Nevera or Screamer accessing the mainframe. <laughs> here it is. We're looking at Carmen Core here. What are they going to be running? It's a scent. We had XMS on Omen last time. Oh, we've got Newzera on Sky. This is already different. Nevera's playing Smokes. Wait a second. Scream on jet. Wait a second. Wait a second. Harbor as well. From oh no, XMS is playing the. All right. Oh yeah. What am I talking about? Harbor. What, what the fuck am I talking about? Nevera's already on smokes. All right. So they've got double smoke set up with the jet, with the sky. So they should have just copied loud. So they are finally just giving up on their version of Valorant, and they are deciding to copy a top team. Holy shit. Holy shit, they've gone from three initiators to one initiator. 
Having said that, though, Nuzera does not look that comfortable in an aggressive initiator uh, role. And also, his fracking is pretty poor. So the way that this comp normally works is that Scream's going to be the first one in, and Nuzera's going to be the second one in, or sometimes it's going to be Nevera. I think Nevera needs to be playing pretty aggressive on this comp, because if he isn't, a lot of it's going to come down to Nuzera, and I don't have faith in him to be able to carry it through. I also... I'm really interested to see what Shin does, what walls they're throwing. Uh, they're going to be starting on the attack side here. Um, so, yeah, you're looking for uh, Viper Orb being placed in mid. You're looking for attacking wall being placed towards B, probably. Although some teams have tried an attacking wall on A a little bit, too. But, I mean, if Carmen Core just copy what other teams have done, because uh, there's been some EMEA teams that have run this. You know, Hoodie, it wasn't exactly the same thing that Giants were running, but, you know, they, some teams have run the Viper and some teams have run this exact same comp. If they just copy what they're doing and Scream can get the jet differential, Carmen Core could actually win this. But I just have no faith in them because they've previously been so bad. I think another thing to keep track of too is XMS's setups on Cypher were awful. So he must... I mean, Killjoy is so fucking easy. Killjoy is so easy. He must have some normal Killjoy setups. Today is the start of the redemption arc for Carmen Core, says Daddy XXL. Well, I hope your hot take's correct. I hope it is. You seem so excited to see Carmen Core succeed. I am. That's the thing. People frame me as this like malicious, maleficent entity that just wants to prey on the downfall of France and Belgium. It's not true. I said this team was going to be trolling, but I actually, after lock-in, said that I think they could still make playoffs and might even make Tokyo because their their mistakes were so obvious. They were surely going to fix them quickly. Surely, right? They're surely going to fix them quickly. Surely. And then they just haven't, and they've been going backwards. So at this point, I'm gagging for some improvement. I'm gagging. I'm thirsting for some improvement. But look, <clears throat> so, attack side, Carmen Core, playing a 1-4 setup to begin with. What does their pistol round buy look like here? So Shin has got his orb, and he's got a snake bite. Nevera's got... Uh, two smokes. Nevera's actually smoked mid off the beginning here. And then they've put an alarm bot inside of it too. They chose not to break the alarm bot. And Twisted did the kill immediately. Is that a bad smoke that they've thrown? So when you do the mid smoke like this, you actually, it's one of the only smokes in the game where you need to give um, a lot of room in front of it. I'm drawing it exaggerated here. In front. So that this angle is cut off. With such a disadvantage, it's going to be tough. Couple of low points, and I, I thought it was good, but Twiston got the angle immediately, and I don't think he spanned through smoke, so I think it must have been a bad smoke from Nevera. Nevera putting down a one-way over towards door. I like that. I just don't see how they win this in the 2v5. They just don't have enough people covering different sides. All right, let's, let's quickly go back and take a look at that smoke as well, because I don't want to shit on Nevera if that wasn't his fault. Uh, yep, it was his fault. Yeah, so look look how this smoke is. It's too flush. Normally, you want to be putting your smokes flush like that, but with this archway, it doesn't get covered if you do that. So you have to push it down further into mid. So yeah, just bad smoke from Nevera. He wasn't playing smokes last time either. Hopefully, he realizes that that was a bad smoke and throws it better next time. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty big mistake that a lot of people do in ranked games as well. If you're a smoke player and you play Omen on this map, like, if you're smoking, you know, like, CT or something, yeah, make it flush, make it flush market. But when you're smoking mid, you need to leave, like, a little bit out. Not that as much as I've drawn it. I'm trying to exaggerate it, but you need to leave a little bit out so that angle's blocked. And that's the kind of thing that pro players should all know. But, you know, Kamakura are juggling around the rolls so much that it's <coughs> maybe getting left by the wayside. Haven't looked at whose smoke this is. Okay, this is Nevera's. He smoked badly again there. I think. Oh, they haven't bought... I mean, Scream has bought light armor here with the Sheriff. But I think he should be fine because he's playing Jet. So you can get away with that shit. Your utility is really not that expensive. The literal, like... 
It's not that buying a light armor sheriff is a terrible idea. It's the buying it is a terrible idea if you don't have enough to buy the next round as well. Although some of the players of vitality are very quick to get into position. I mean, we could see some sheriff magic here, maybe from some of these players. But otherwise, it should be a fairly clean retake from Vitality. Nice. Well played. Oh my god, and Twiston just kills Musera instantly too. Twiston's building up towards his ultimate. He's two away now from his ult being online, which is going to be pretty big for them. They save three Bulldogs and a Vandal into this round. I think that was more um, of a blip rather than any questions being called in of the ability. And of the looking at has. the utility on the other side. A bit more interesting though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't get to see all of the util there, round, but there's no way Scream's coming into the next round without a smoke, really right? Like have managed to balance out any economy. This will be a full purchase coming through. And Turn off the chat, move the chat. Oh yeah, I moved it somewhere else previously, However, didn't I? But I can't remember where I moved it. However, there's still a lot of rifles it. coming in. So for this Logitech G power up round, Casey kind of have to be careful. They don't want to... Uh, Scream has no smokes in this round. What the fuck is wrong with... The Dude, I'm trying so hard not to mold. But when this man is buying full armor instead of any smokes, playing a tax sided jet, it is fucking difficult. It is difficult. It's stressing me. It's getting to the core of my belief system. And he's ruining it. He's dismantling it. Nevera has also bought full armor instead of two TPs. TPing in on Omen when you're doing A execs is like the whole way that fucking A execs work in the meta right now by playing aggressive with your jet and with your with your omen, then literally not going to be able to end A unless they go completely through mid here. Also, this wall in mid. Why are they doing this wall in mid instead of putting a smoke here that they can put down? I mean, I don't think that smoke is useful. I don't think that wall is useful. Shin's been pushed away over here. They are going for an A pivot. Scream doesn't have any smokes to try and stop getting one wed. He also doesn't have any smokes to get past Twiston. He somehow... Holy fuck, that's awful. Holy fucking shit, that's bad. Oh my god, he doesn't have a smoke to get through the one way, which would have been amazing. He doesn't have a smoke to get past Twiston, and then he pops his dash and dashes back onto the angle that Twiston is watching that hasn't been smoked. I mean, also, where's Nevera's smokes in that situation? He's going to get them positioning back in towards this A site. 15 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time for them to get in. And he's even going to... bailing them out of this with that kill towards the end. From they would have not given him the footsteps. Marks, Hello, Mr. Streamer. I see the molding has begun. Yeah, the molding has begun. It's going to be an expensive bonus round, but I don't think Bone Cole's got a great chance of being able to actually win this. But it's expensive because all of these players have been knocked down to low armor, and they all love rebuying full armor. And operator online with no armor, glass cannon operator coming out round four. When it comes to ACS. Yeah. I think especially now going back Getting Nevera active on this attack side is going to be extremely important though, chat. And that's why I think not buying the TPs is, is even more troll. But okay, they're all good now. Shin's taken... I think maybe those numbers are going to take a hit. Shin's taken light armor bulldog here. We've seen it already with Kellogg's having a pretty Oh, the TP play from Nevera up top and Twiston gets flashed out. It's going to force back. I don't really understand what Shin is using his... I mean, Shin's just got destroyed over there. That one-way isn't a real one-way. It's like a fake one-way from Destrian. That's so cool, but I don't have time to talk about it, I don't think. But they put the one-way, like, closer to... They put the one-way closer to the right from our minimap pers perspective that allows you to swing through it as the defenders. Normally, you want it to kind of hang towards the, the you know, for, as far away as possible, really. Also, what the hell is this wall mid, and what is Shin using his orb for? Oh, Shin's orb is here. So Shin is using his Viper orb to threaten like they could cross to the other side, when they could just have their Omen TP there anyway, and they could have a Viper orb mid. I don't know why they're trying to reinvent the meta, to be honest, on this map, but... This Viper wall mid looks shit. What made him it really that does. That was clear, but that's a very easy kill. I suppose... Wait a second, maybe this is still winnable. I suppose it also walls off Cat, right? So you can use it for some mid-control 
back away and with that massive util stack coming in towards you can use it for some mid control and then you can also use it yeah. to try and take market team. control too I, it's not that bad to be honest it really isn't that bad i think if shin was viper orbing here and they had this wall up as well i think this is fine i think the big issue is i don't think they're getting any value from using shin's orb here trying to stop those players rotating sat on the lurk like doesn't even check as he walks around the corner i mean if is in a weird position there because the viper isn't alive so they don't have a wall and so he has to look at two different positions But they're definitely trending much more towards this wall than the loud wall, which is more like that. But it also means that they're not getting good B main control off here. So they're not getting good B main control, and they're also not getting good A main control either. Twist and peaks mid. Ego's the Viper wall. This Viper wall, it is easy for people to flash or push through here on the defense side. And he's going to be everywhere. But that, that's going it's to be also, it does still have some uses. To mention with only having that solo initiator is you don't have a lot of info as to where he currently is. A lot of the time you're going to see early Sova darts being... God, their economy has just been in a rough position here. Nuzera's going to flash through. It's, it's the They're making it seem like Sender is not playing market. Vitality are baiting for Sender to get kills here. Kame Core have not really had a main control. Did Destrian see that? Oh my god, Destrian's just stood in this forever. Oh, this is so weird. Kame Core are very, very slow to get in, though, again. And Destrian gets two out of that. Pretty ridiculous. He got three. He managed to kill Shin as well. I do. The great supportive utility, but... Even still, he basically just after straight up standing in a molly, the, the but this is the same problem that Carmen Corb are having before, so where they well, don't they push quickly three. enough. Really they're very, 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 very slow to take space. Destrian was punishable, you know, for a good 10 seconds there in the round. And that was a force buy from Carmen Corp, so now they're down to... Oh, Scre okay. Scream has bought full armor Sheriff this round, which looks a bit troll, but he's one away from his um, knives. So it's actually not bad at all. But if you're going to do this, why wouldn't you just buy a proper weapon? You could just force here if you Scream. They don't have B main control, and this is the first round. Not the first round, but this round they're going for this B wall. And I think here, Kamen Core are probably running into a... Um, a, a pretty common mistake that a lot of ranked people make on maps like Icebox, for example, where they have a couple of different walls. They have this wall, they have this wall. They have this wall. Maybe they even have an A wall, but their walls are giving away where they're trending towards, right? Like they've been running this wall and they've been mostly trying to create some mid pressure and some cat pressure. And then when they go back to the B wall, these players get in front of it and they're all over towards B. So, no, I like this wall. Don't get me wrong. I like the wall. This wall, loud run it a lot. It's a fairly decent wall. I don't think it's the best in the world, but it does help the attackers take some B control. And it also helps them, um, like, threaten like they're walking into B as well. What I'm saying is that by swapping... So the way that loud run this most of the time is they just put this wall down. Like, almost every time they just put this wall. And what that means is you don't know when it's real and when it's a threat. But I think because Kamen Core have been using this wall for... 15 seconds left. Four out of still six of the rounds, I think. When they go back to the B wall, that definitely so felt like Vitality got a read off that and pushed player, out Nevera and got the kills. They could leave Nevera alive. I mean, they're not going to leave So I'm not saying the wall is bad. I'm just saying that they're, um, they're maybe going to make it too obvious to Vitality where they're trying to play. All right, so now Kamen Core have finally got themselves into a decent economical state. Um, it looks like they're going to buy an operator here too. Sorry, I'm just going to go back a little bit here so that we can take a look at this. So it looks like Nevera is going to pick up the operator. Scream has light armor rifle. He still has his uh, jet knives to rely on, but they can use that on an eco round as well. So he's not getting punished. You know, the, the light armor is just as good as the full armor, really. But I'm very interested in this Nevera op. I don't know where he's going to be bringing this. 
go for these sort of set executes. Nevera is very good at opping, but on their attack half, the where do you really want to take this? Like, I think it would be a great idea if Nevera was opping down mid and they had Shin's Viper Orb there, so and then they could drop the Shin Orb and it would give Nevera some decent opportunities to punish Vitality players that might be, you know, hiding behind the safety of the Orb or something. But I think one of the big problems here is that they've just never had good B main or A main control. They've not dogged the whole game. Surely that's not true. I haven't really been paying attention to it, but surely that can't be true. A lot of for me is the kind of selective aggression coming out from Vitality, right? We're not seeing them kind of go charging into no. KC head first because I think, like you said, they've read the card. They have? They the okay. They know I mean, I'm sure the person in chat was exaggerating, but... Um, so, with their response here, they're saying, so get a little bit closer, Jet down mid fight. here, and, you and Nevera has smoked deeper mid. He's going to teleport up on the box, together. and then he's going to off. When Casey are expecting it most, but so, he's kind of smoked himself off here, and now he's trying to push forwards <laughs> on his own with an op in his hand, and their Jet can push through the smoke because they have dash. It's just so, so much worse than using Shin's orb. I don't understand how Carmen Core is so bad at copying other people's strats. I don't get it. They just don't understand how it works. They're also they're also using the like they're using the wall and the I don't even know really what the smoke is supposed to be doing here from Shin, but they're using the wall to fake like they're going out on B. And then they're, they're making a lot of noise as they go through the choke. Like, the whole point of this wall is that you're supposed to be able to, like, slowly contact your way out, looking towards market, get out behind the wall, and then explode. And instead, they just give away that it's a B hit so much after Nevera dies instantly in mid. That is ludicrous as well, isn't it? A timeout for Nevera to buy an op and walk down mid. It's just, it just, the way that they play makes absolutely no sense. They need to save, by the way, here, and they're gonna die. They could have saved with three players alive. They could have saved, and they've just lost all five of their players. I think right now they're being caught by every single piece of aggression that comes out. They're unable to clear mid. A, a lot of the time, that's where Sova utility comes through. They're very valuable in not only just destroying utility that's there, but also just darting up the operator player. Because that's the thing. Twisted Vitality had a very good response to that B hit, though. It's literally just, we have to shoot this guy down. I mean, Sender's setup melted sure, screen. The, stages, the rotates came through instantly. They weren't worried about a mid flank. Let's, let's, let's just take a moment here, too, to think about what the game plan even was on that round. Was, was Nevera supposed to be a lurking backstab opper? What was, what was the game plan? They had four players in B main trying to push B main, and Nevera had an op in mid. What What's the game plan? What is the strat that they've called at the beginning? I'm not talking about like, so they're running, they're going back to their mid wall that they've been really favoring. So Twiston has been Twiston egoing this quite a lot. Mid, at least for a this smoke is bad again in mid. At least it looks like it. They've pushed through. They're actually trying to use their Viper in mid here. Sender's, Sender's got to stop two players in mid here. Like this fight in mid. Most an opener. Are they actually wow, going to use the wall? That is atrocious! Is this the reason that Scream hasn't been playing Duelist? Is that he's forgotten how? What am I watching? I think he's lost all of his confidence or something. I don't really get it. That's... You would never see old Scream fucking that up that bad. It's a 2v3, but they are still playing. What has happened? That is ridiculous. He peeked the corner with like a bad peak where he always intended to walk backwards. And then he re-swings, his aim is nowhere near. And he just 
whiffs the right click completely kind of down into the left of the body but that is so rough senders kind of you know like ad ad spraying because he's a bit panicked and just wants to pre-fire but still i mean it's not like if scream had hit the shot he would have got the kill yeah, they haven't been trolling their economy. Nevera is opping again. And now he's actually TP'd across. So Kamenkor have not done this at any point. It's like the most basic way of taking A main. You just TP your omen there and you can double face down into A main. It's very standard. They haven't done it at all. And so Vitality weren't expecting it and they died. But it's a good start to the round. I think now they can go for a very standard A exec here. Um, my one worry for them attack a lockdown stacked up over on this a side. but they're they not they haven't got onto the, the a angle at all and vision, all right and sound, they're dogging and in the they're slow as fuck they're, they're still in the choke point here okay nevera gets one they're so far back but they're actually holding heaven so it's not as bad as it looks but now shin's dead this is this is what's good about holding uh heaven so heavily when you when you try to swing as a heaven player to help your players that are anchoring you end up facing into the well in this case the op but also multiple players so that, that isn't as bad as it looks, to be honest. But it's still very, very slow. Very slow. You want to be trying to get into the site usually when there's still about four seconds left on the lockdown. And one of the most important parts of fighting Ascent A is getting posted on the A main angle, the way, the way that Nevera is here. But the thing is, when Destrian's dead, there's no smokes to stop you from posting A main. So hit the fucking lockdown, flash the corner, and get two or three players posted A main. That should be done immediately. Immediately. And then from there, you wait a little bit, you make sure that Heaven's completely held, and then you start scaling into the site when there's like four players uh, four seconds left on the lockdown all right so this is they're, they're smoking both sides off here like they were doing when xms was playing the smokes it's a bad smoke fucking again from nevera in mid but they're not wasting both of nevera's smokes because they have shin's orb over towards cat more passive positions they're wanting to try and not allow for this build up play on the side of kc these players are leaving a main right now, though. They had a main control, and now all three of them are leaving. And I don't really understand why. Nana Swarm doesn't clear that corner out. It's still a two-player trap. They might just completely get minced by this trap play. No, they go one for one. Not bad. Destrian needs to get out here. He should be teleporting away. Oh, that's so over-aggressive from Destrian, but he still gets it. I think Destrian should be TPing back at that point. Throw your paranoia, slow them down, but he's just playing aggressive and gets three out of it, so... Uh, who am I to complain? By the way, when there's two players over here and you're doing an A split, your A main players should be fast reacting into the site. And it's still very slow from Carmen Core, but they have got there eventually. Nevera gets in, Nevera gets the spike. Ah, oh, Shin goes down, and Nevera also gets caught with the ult cancel. Bone Cold just ran into the site. Slam the door in their faces. Yeah, unfortunately, they lost the spike oh, on yeah, short. Yeah. But the, the expectation there is from Carmine Corp that someone's going to sit on the spike. You go, okay, spike is here. We'll yep. hold on to that. But I think you just had Vitality make that realization of, okay, he's got from the shadows. The only way they win this round is if he teleports. It's a huge round from Destrian. Brings it back. I mean, he's just, just the spamming into the pit to kill Shin. <laughs> and I think Destrian often gets the punished there, refighting Catwalk. But he hits his shots, so he gets away game. with it. And, after a round with and it just makes Nevera things well, look even worse for Carmen Core. What the fuck? Destrian's pushing out here with a flash. Dude, Destrian's playing like a maniac because he knows he can get away with it here. This play where you TP into your one way is sick if you combo it with a haunt, like a haunt up here or a Sova dart back here. Like you can get some really good kills through the smoke like that. But Destrian was pushing it off the back of a flash and Mossy was gonna, oh my God. Oh my God, I thought Scream was gonna, I think Scream was about to die to the KO Molly there. 
Horsey is just always there as well. Jump peeking for the information. Knows that they've lost tree control. Uh. <laughs> and the push is coming in. XMS goes down as once again you have Sender pushing up through. By the way, this was a force round from Carmen Core. They had to make a bit of a difficult decision. They're on a massive loss bonus, so Scream's still going to be able to buy. Nevera's still going to be able to buy. But the others are not really. It's going to be like Light Armor Bulldog or something. Just one more round to play. Yeah, and it's a bad sign again for. Carmine Corp when the map that you're choosing just doesn't seem to go your way. But I, I think that's the main... Why? The why? 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 Do Carmine Corp just decide to pick a map for a couple of weeks that they suck on to pick? Why did they go split twice and lose 13-2? And why did they go ascent multiple times and get obliterated there too? Why don't they pick maps that they look good at? Maybe their scrims, they're just getting rolled on Lotus and Pearl. But from what we've seen in matches, their Lotus and Pearl looked like their best too. Because they suck on every map? I mean, that might be why, yeah. That might be why. Have they just used their last timeout? Yeah, this is their second timeout, isn't it? I mean, I don't... They've lost. Unless they... I mean, said, what? Like, they, 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 need to, they need to they need to win this round, win pistol, and then have a really good defense side. Like you know the map is defense-sided, but fuck me, yeah, they look lost. The, said, the metal militia. Thank you for the prime. Why would you use a timeout for the last round of the half, especially when they've got a bad buy for it too? They've got like some kind of wonky force buy. It's very broken. Maybe this can turn on its head. I don't mind them taking a pause here. I, I think it's Why are you not casting? Because this is okay. EMEA Let's and I'm working this Americas out. this year. Get things rolling a little bit. And uh, well, I will be casting Americas. On the other side I'm in LA right now. Four, Pedestrian. They he's pick split playing, three times. Good like fucking god help them. Alright, so the buy just looks... I mean, what the fuck is this? I think they've had that realisation of we can win this. Dude. How many Odins have they bought in this round? There's two and then one on the floor. And the off on side as well, so it's far from a rifle round for them at this stage, but it is a very Spend heavy the extra investment. cash. Look, <laughs> I mean, why not? He's actually <laughs> being able to cycle through three different weapons here. Sunny Show want them based on what the situation Surely is. light armor Spectre is better than full armor Sheriff, they isn't it? Bite them. If, if they somehow manage to kill him off, it's going to be a huge upgrade of weaponry for the players on the this other is side. Ridiculous. Oh, timing. They're going to hear the reload. It's not being watched. Free kill for Scream. He's actually right. going to get a double. Nice. And they can react quickly now. They've taken down both of these players. The Scream's going to close the door. He's completely alone. A bit just for a rotation to come in before going for the plant. But they will get into an God, his players are slow to come and help him. Scream's just decided to win this round on his own. Nuzera could try and flash in heaven here. I would love it if they went for that. Oh, they need to... Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I messed up. I didn't realize that Sender was uh, going to use his lockdown. They, they should fight this. I would like to see them fight that. They can break the door. They have a player over here as well. They could be set up really nicely to fight that. Now Scream's just not going to be in a great position to win the round. Yeah, I mean, they just stuck it. They just gave him a jet smoke and they just suck it. To be honest there, I don't mind the idea. If if Sender's going to use his ultimate, his lockdown on Heaven like that, flashing the jet up top and trying to double push Heaven might have been a good idea with Scream. But especially when you have one player catwalk and they use the lockdown tree and you have two players on site, Breaking the like, New Zera breaks the door and then flashes Scream in, and then you know XMS pinches from here and Scream pinches from here. I think that's your only chance of winning that round. It's the constant flank plays that are coming in. It's Sender up through mid. It's Destrian pushing on one side. It's Twiston with the off. They once again. I mean, this is this is one of the first maps where I feel like. Shin has had no value. Yeah, I, I think the main thing as well is Normally, Shin is pretty good, round good round with how he's like using his utility and his fragging's good too. But I just haven't even seen value from Shin. Scream's been playing terribly compared to, to what we've seen in the past from him playing Jet. Nuzera's utility is almost non existent. They have no real game plan of how they're going to take the extremities of the map. They're reinventing the meta when in terms of where they're using the viper utility and like how they're taking mid and how they're taking a main with it never is still open in really stupid spots it's like his team looks unhelpable and as the half went on you could just see vitality getting more and more confident more and more cheeky and just the map control just skip the break 
from KC. I can't skip the break. I'm live. Now, compositionally going into the second half, I, I can Surely they haven't scrimmed this comp extensively so everyone like looks I, bad. I if you haven't well scrimmed the comp the extensively, don't the pick the map. Like this is pick Lotus. Was built for Corp. My worry is, I don't know if they have... Ah! The other side of things, there's a lot of execute presence that you can have when it comes uh, to where, where can I move the I'm not sitting chat? Here looking at like, oh, they gambled everything. Can I move the chat like the off, other side or, or something? No, no, I, I think they can definitely pull this. Like, off can I move it like up well. here or some shit? To ask the game of Valorant, you got to be able to deliver in both. Is that better? I'll try and adjust it in a sec. But I mean, th this map's over, chat. Carmen Corp might make a bit of a fake comeback happen because the attacking side is more difficult on ascent. If Carmen Corp can win the pistol, then you might see this, you know, a couple of rounds going towards Carmen Corp after that as well. But it's not going to be a real comeback. They ain't winning this. They ain't winning this. And then basically just playing off of it, using it to segment some of the battles. They ain't they're winning this. Aggressive. The difference, though, is I quite like that in combination with a Sova. Like being able to put the util through it and you could potentially get some free kills. I want to see if they're going to try and combo it with the Sky. And for now, at least, it seems like... Scream's got a Sheriff to start out here. Out of middle. Onto that re-swing there, Scream. They got their alarm but deep to, cat. Kind of bait them into a false oh sense of security. God. You could get nothing away with it. Dipped himself away. Really trying to hold them at bay here. Good pre-fire angle. They would have given him foot. Send against one. Twiston is so unbelievably mega deep. Scream pulls down elsewhere. And they haven't won the pistol. It's all over. A great tap coming in, but it's simply not enough. As said, sometimes it just comes down to that gun skill. And Vitality have got it in spades in this game. Spike planted. This is a GG for sure. There's a Very few low G. players. That's really the only saving grace, but Destrian still full HP and X. No, not even a fake still comeback. Find out where some of these players are. Doesn't even know there's a flag. Nice. nice shot. Elite Destrian's it gives him an opportunity got 125 health though, so I don't think this is winnable. Jewels, even if he hits a headshot. Killed, but getting... oh, yeah, that's the thing. A headshot connected. A oh, what? <laughs> oh, I didn't want to see that. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. If the XMS actually I'm hits the shot, the headshot on Destrian while he's jumping, that then becomes Twisted pretty fucking winnable. I mean, if he just looked down and hit the shot, sure Twiston would have died in like one or two bullets. And he just runs spawn. Like, he just runs spawn and kills Scream. Like, it seems like Scream had some awareness of it, but... Yeah, they, they looked like they had no idea that they could be pushed by Twiston. Though. That is a very silly way to end the round. Hey, they're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, Twiston's pathing was a bit bonkers. Common Core don't force. They're 11-2 down. They don't force. Shin using his wall in A main. To get into wine. Bro. The Viper wall hit. Very oh my god. He goes for the swing off the altar. Now he's going to try and get out. Just spam spam straight through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Novera tried to smoke him out as well. Shut down that aggression. I'd rather see oh god. The second round as well, and you know that you're down on guns against the other side. What does this this wall looks fair, pretty shit to me? Half, really close range smokes, and to I mean, I think Shin might be able to fire Viper snake bites or something on this side of it, but it doesn't really let you control this angle. It stops you from doing that. And is this ever going to get used? Like, are they ever really going to be, like, pushing into mid? Maybe, but I don't think they're going to do it often. I don't think they're going to get enough value out of this. Nevera buying Light Shield Classic? I mean, they're not forcing... I don't they, think many other they get money after this round. It shouldn't be a big problem. Basically, just hoping that somebody is playing directly off the back of the smoke. But Vitality have decided, let's just play passive. We don't need to take any risks here. Timmy the turret will be the one facing, and Destrian well. Jesus. Destrian with a triple. I feel like I've said that at least like eight times throughout <laughs> this game so far. 18, 19 kills now on side, I think. He's just it is kind of interesting that Shin's got so many different walls that it's not like like none of them are terrible walls. It's just. 
whether you know whether they make sense for what you're doing and whether they give away to your opponents where you're going and that kind of stuff like the good thing about loud's walls is that you could just throw them every round and they never gave away what loud were doing and they were always able to get some level of value like this one's this one's a pretty decent wall i think and it's just something that you can do fairly regularly so makes it a bit more difficult the, the allows you to reclip your main a little i think it's better than the a one more awkward and segmented to push into the site as I said this is where i quite like having an initiator behind it because you can sort of get yourself a xms has got a sensible side. setup all right nice twiston's just dropped the Twiston spike for the one with a spike so that definitely makes things a bit more awkward in this round for vitality but of course oh, this is a destrian again Oh, uh, coming around on the backstab. Although there is a secondary backstab, and of course it's Sandler. So XMS looked like he wanted to swing that. I know he's got some numbers on the board. I think Sack currently third. They can go back for another A. Really um, his contributions. Again, the pressure now that now that they've broken this alarm bot, they can go for another A split here, and they know that there's only going to be two people here, Max, because the others like somebody needs to be aware of mid, and somebody needs to be anchoring B as well. New Zero just out in the open on the timing that Vitality took. And Omenult comes in. I like that from Destrian. Good spam as well from Destrian, actually, because I thought Screen might get away with that. Potentially still winnable, but Shin and XMS don't have any utility for this, so it's just really based on... Oh, Destrian's going to go for... Ah, that's cute. That's cute. perfect. The Pushing heaven without a flash? Omega just, troll. Pushing heaven with a flash? By an absurd margin. Depends on the timing you get, but often a really nice play. Uh, he hasn't thrived on this Viper. I want to see him back on the initial. 13 2. Kamiko love the 13 2, don't they? Kamiko love the 13 2. They walk into it after not playing it this year, and they win 13 2. If that's not a bad omen, I don't know what is. Again for me, so but chat, it's, it's fine. The, the next map is split. I feel like Kamiko just right need to take their L and hard prac two maps so they can at least get a map one on the board. Kind of, kind of, uh, yeah, but also they can't figure out which map it is. I think they wanted to do that and they chose split. They were like, all right, lads, buckle the fuck down. We are going to get good at split. Three weeks later, all right, lads, we fucked up. We're not good at split. But we gave it a jolly good try, didn't we? So let's pick another map. All right, the next map is Ascent. All right, guys, for the next two weeks, we're only going to practice Ascent. Fuck! Our comp was so troll. Okay, next week, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're all only going to practice Ascent. Fuck! Dude, we copied Loud's comp and we still lost 13 2? Like, they just, they just don't get it. So, defensive setup. They have a Lombard over here, which uh, is going to tell you if they're coming up through vents or it's going to tell you if they go up this way too. They have a Viper wall that goes like this. So that's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Shin and XMS just got destroyed. What an entry from Molsey. Holy shit. They were in so fast. Good god. The, the, the paranoia from Destrian? That is not good from Vitality though. They've not only They're trying to wall off Twiston's contact, I think, but that doesn't even work in that situation. Oh, Bonkold's absolutely done them inside of that. Bonkold has absolutely done them inside of that smoke. Bonkold has absolutely done them like a kipper. Why did they use that smoke? Because that's actually not what just happened, but my god. Was Destry on the they already oh, killed oh, both of the players in elbow. That is pretty sick, actually. I love the way that Bonkold so fast up there. I don't understand why they run that smoke. I, I what does that even do? Little bit ironic why don't they smoke... Why don't they smoke the heaven off? They have a flanker coming around from this angle anyway. Alright, so now they're running this wall. We'll this round at least what the fuck is this one? This one's weirder than... The, like, normally people run... This one's... 
Mate, this wall's even worse than the one that I don't like the other teams do. How do they manage it? How do Carmen Core somehow manage to bring a new level to every piece of utility? Normally teams run this wall that goes like that and it cuts off this like a heaven door right here and they've instead put a completely sideways one like this which means that you can get through the wall whilst not really exposing yourself to that many angles in heaven and then you can just normally walk through you have a lot of delay maybe if they have somebody holding like here watching that angle it's not that bad throw down utility to basically slow them down you can see even that's confusing Though. But in the previous round, they ran a wall that went like this. And I've drawn it kind of badly, but they're trying to smoke mid at the same time as smoking A Heaven with the Viper wall. And it's a decent idea. The only problem is it ends up being a bit too flat in mid. It's not as flat as I've drawn it, but it's, it's pretty flat. Okay, so now Shin is doing the, the, the standard Viper wall. Um, actually, no, he's... No, I mean, it's pretty similar. I, I don't really like this wall, but a lot of teams are doing it. This is what I think Vitality do best on this map, is taking B main control aggressively like this. So it's nice to see Carmen Core doing it to them. They have a one-way, Blast Pack comes out, taking B main control really aggressively here. They've got their Viper and their Killjoy over on A, so this in theory should be a very difficult A site to get in through. Got Nana Swarms down in good positions, turret to take contact. Both Nana Swarms popped here. Shin's gonna come in. Oh, XMS just gets rolled over. The double duelists are gonna both be in such aggressive positions that can be extremely overwhelming. But yeah, Vitality just getting through. And then fighting Heaven with Paranoia is really nice for Vitality. The reason the Carmen Core have no chance on this map, even if they look a lot better, is because it's one of Vitality's best. I think it is Vitality's best map. Yeah, I can't blame them. Like, that, that's the thing. Like, you have that full utility setup. Will you be watch party in the really NA games as well? I'm going to be casting the America's games. It. Like, the Viper screen's not deterring anyone. They're getting easy entries and then just comboing the utility that they have. These like, common core players are not going to be able to save. They're trying to save three. I mean, look at how much is flashes. The, the net is tightening here. That, that's how they get oh, in. Okay. Oh, Other oh, oh. Wait there. Not a whole lot more. Obviously, oh, the they are able to save. Costly for the side. Okay. Financially, it's not going to do any damage to Vitality. They can buy Will you be watch partying as well? You want me to set up a remote broadcast at the LCS studios, at the VCT studios. Oh my god. Molsi does incredibly well to get through that utility, but XMS um, was not ready for not ready for them to get in. Adge? Oh, I forgot to run an advert again, didn't I? My bad. My bad, chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I like this slow orb in B main as a default to take B main control for the attackers. But I do think you thing. also they probably are, need to be uh, spamming it setups, uh, because the slow orb just on its own doesn't give you full control. Wow, Boncold just, just chatting it. Boncold absolutely <laughs> giga chatting it. Meanwhile, XMS, right, has bought Sheriff Full Armor again. He's the he's the anchor on A. And he knows that if they push A, he's going to be dealing with a jet and a raise in his face. What kind of long-range fights are you ever going to be allowed to take if you're XMS? Unless you're playing full retake on A. And I guess his Nana Swarm setup. I mean, it blocks the A Heaven plant spot. But Molsi's just going to wait for it and then plan for A Heaven anyway. Segway Chimp, thank you for the nine months. Celsius paid his editor to watch party on his stream during games. You should pay your sister to watch party on your stream while you cast. She would not have a clue. She would have even less of a clue than I do. There's no shot XMS is saving a sheriff. No, he's got a rifle. Foil Curtain, thank you for the new Prime sub. 
And you got zero kills. And Chaibo, thank you for the uh, Again, 100 bits and, as well. And it, that was just basically, okay, we're going to do this aggressive play. We're gonna XMS has an iron gun body. The map. I've got no problem yeah. with that. It's not a bad strat at all. But both players died <laughs> bone cold. The sage, the lone Not sage the eggs. Oh, the, <laughs> the fucking eggs. I was wondering why they were well, zoomed in so far on the... Uh, right down slow, and, and now it's just easy pickings. I, was I that supposed to be the... the was that supposed to be the egg there? He even gets tagged low there and goes... Nah, All right, so alarm bot's going to move into B Heaven. XMS is going to put up his turret that gets you info here. Like, XMS's setups actually do look good on the Killjoy. Oh, this is interesting as well. He's got a Nana Swarm here. Oh, no, he's picking it back up again. He's got a Nana Swarm here. So I think this is a fairly decent place for your Nana Swarm against a double duelist composition. Seems fine to me. Nevera's got a judge. Hiding close. Like they, they, every time they're pushing into his setup, they're, they're going for these aggressive plays on the other side of the map. All right. Both Nana Swarms getting popped. Look, the Nana Swarm's really good here. XMS is absolutely oblivious. Absolutely oblivious. Shin and XMS are getting obliterated. Obliterated. Because their positioning, they just have no idea what angles to fight on against the double duelist comp. It genuinely starts to make me wonder if XMS just believes that I've popped my nano swarms, no one is coming this way anymore. Even when there's a showstopper and blast pack going behind him, it's Jesus Christ. He was tunnel, tunnel visioned in. I, I think to give him a bit of credit, when the ult, when the Ray's ult is coming through in this direction, he's trying to put his body away from the Ray's ult, right? He's trying to tuck himself around the corner so that when the Ray's peeks through, they don't see anybody, and so they don't know where to shoot. But he's so slow on the movement getting around the corner that he ends up being open to the Ray's anyway, and he just doesn't quite know where to be. Well, that's the thing. I don't they know. Can, they're continuously not he's died getting shot in the back here. Now he's died getting shot in the back guns. here as well. It's not like Shin's faring any better. They but just don't know how to deal with this. With the idea, but th this oh, he got paranoia as well, actually. My bad. He goes through it. He's being shot by the turret. I don't think there could be much more information. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he, he is paranoia, so he actually can't hear any of that coming through. That's not as bad as I thought. Coming in because admittedly it's hard. You've got He's just getting completely the destroyed by the back. exec there. Who do you fight first? The only the only thing you can do if you're XMS in that position yeah. is from and pillar, like you run around the pillar and you tuck yourself and crouch see. at um, the metal box. But, that, but he was too slow to do that. Zena, thank you for the prime. It's not really his fault. He didn't play it as well as he could, but no, it's not. I feel like there needs to be a, a change in how they're playing this map. Be it but he's getting destroyed the by the execute. Like, Pass. I think, the I think they've got to play full retake. Cargilly, thank you for the prime. Because they just can't, like, they can't hold at all on the sites. So they might as well just be playing retake setups. And yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, Teal Zeitgun. Vitality are genuinely really good on this map. Sellout, thank you for the prime. I would not be surprised if this is another 13-2 kind of performance from Carmen Core. Because Vitality are fucking great on this map. I think that one way missed, didn't it? That one way is actually quite difficult to land. It's a bit bugged, I think. KC are fun stealers. Alright, so they're, they're playing off site. Oh, God. Apart from Scream. So only Scream was contesting there. I don't know why, if their team is playing full retake, Scream decide to challenge. But you saw how good Twiston and Molsi are at setting up complementary positions for themselves so they can trade off each other. But Carmen Core, by, by giving up that space and by going for a bit of a like retake as the rest of the players come in, have managed to make this a 3v3 where they control the site. However, they've given up all control over all of the rest of the map. They have no idea where Sender is. Shin's going to try and re-clear this. Comes down to a bit of timing, to be honest. And this looks like Vitality are going to end with a B re hit. No, maybe not. Destry and Amalsi moving away from B. Because Sender's got full A heaven control. So because of that, 
They're actually now going to go for the full rotation. Screaming tried to help Shin. Yeah, but Shin was always planning to leave CT. So Shin didn't need help. And they've just taken a timeout to discuss how they want to play the defense. They've just taken a timeout to say, presumably, let's not hard anchor, let's play, you know, let's back up when their duelists come in and then we can refight it. And they're still uncoordinated. One up towards mid, and they're like, hey, is, it, is it A, is it B? Where do we go from here? Shin finds one, gonna go for a swing here onto Destrian. Who's playing off the back of this two, now wants the Brook to go for the, co uh, the cross, sorry, to look in towards the site itself, and has the right idea. They've got that numbers advantage. Is this the first time they find a round? It's planted for heaven, so I like the idea for Shin to stay here. They're so slow to tap. Shin does a great job here, though. Does he die? Nice work, Shin. Very good. Very good. They're pretty conscious that there's going to be a rewrap around, and Shin just stays in that exact spot waiting. Very well played, Shin. All right, that's 50% of Kamen Core's rounds acquired in the first six. So they're, they're making good pace right now. They're making very good pace. 13-5? 13-5. I'd be happy with the 13-3. It's felt like for the most part, Casey simply haven't been at the races. But that round there, Shin especially, showing that it can be done. And hopefully, that inspires more rounds like it. Yeah. Viper's pit. They flash for the pit, but this fight is actually happening over here. Scream, I think, is going to try and ult here. Off. No, what is he doing? Why doesn't... If he's going to play like that, he could do a trap play off a turret that was on this box. You see that box there? They could have put the turret on top of that box, and they could be running a trap play with his ult off the back of that. But instead, he's just... What in the fucking Lord's name is he doing? What is he doing? What was it? Who was he even trying to hit with the ult? He blast packs out of screens. Even if he doesn't die, they're like four in heaven. What's he going to do? Fire it through the fucking window? They've got no ultimates. I, I can't blame them. Like, that's the thing. You isolate these saves and you go... Carmen oh, Core are saving the right so corner. often on this yes. defense side as well. But it's just it, got to be absolutely be miserable for them. Absolutely Justin miserable. And now that they're saving, I'm going to go back and look at this. What is he doing here? Does he ult off the turret tap? So the turret sees somebody heaven. The turret shoots. Heaven. March. How are you getting a kill? How are you getting a kill? Is he just going to try and splash it off the back walls? But he doesn't have anybody holding this. God, this is just unbe unbelievable. Like the, the worst possible way that you could try and run a trap play with your ult. <laughs> he does not look happy. It's the, it's the duality of life, isn't it? You, you have up yeah, maybe down. he thinks the turret Jesus contact is somebody walking out right heaven. So he thinks it, somebody's going to be on be rafters. Forward, something we, we mentioned already. Try and sort of step maybe he's the trying to satchel their into this elbow internal bleeding at this point. I, and I throw his ult so it splashes it. for people walking rafters. Most of the time, they just go and IGL would ask for the Viper Wall to be up. Yeah, it's just, there's not even any coordination with the choke being smoked. What is this? Is that the Carmen Core? That Carmen Core mascot has seen some shit. That Carmen Core mascot has seen some shit. Straw Hat Luffy. What is Luffy? Is Luffy the Carmen Core mascot? Oh, it's a thing from One Piece. Oh. I see. They're going A again. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if this is exactly the same execution. Right, so XMS is not going to hard anchor site here. They're going for a big play in. 
means that there's not going to be a free kill, at least. Like, I, they I use both of the Nano Swarms. They know that Vitality have been refighting Heaven. They know that previously there's been an Omen blind that came through here and someone swung from Heaven. How are Carmen Core going to deal with that? That's the first step. Spam Twiston's position. He swung from there before. Bone Calls on top of the wall. Twiston gets a free one from the same spot as before. Destrian's on the lurk. There's just no possible way that Carmen Core are winning this, I don't think, even though it's a 3v3. They've got two players up in heaven. God, tragic. They just don't have any protocols for retaking. They don't have any... Like, it's just watching... It's like watching a... I don't know. Do you remember? You remember at the beginning of Valorant, where the devs styled on some top CS players by like flashing through the bind teleporters and stuff. That's what every Carmen Core game feels like. Every Carmen Core game feels like they are the CS pros that have just tuned into Valorant. And they don't really understand how utility works or that you need to be re-clearing areas. And they're just getting battered by the fucking... By the devs. Oh my god. That had the potential to go very badly. Screams bought a hero rifle in this. I've given up on watching the economy, to be honest, chat. I've completely given up on watching the economy. Because who the fuck cares? They're getting their heads whacked, even when they've got full rifles. XMS is now anchoring, by the way, with a fucking sheriff. He still gets one. Again, but one of the better scenarios we've seen for KC. he might actually be able to fight those kind of situations if he had a Spectre or a Stinger. Nevera with a trade, 2v2. Possibly winnable. They've smoked, so Bonkol might be able to get a res here. That's really kind of Nevera. And Nevera's going to peek through the smoke. Twist and spams it. What is Nevera cooking with these smokes, man? What is Nevera cooking? Doesn't look like this is gonna have any breaks. So the funny thing is, Boat Cold has a res there, but just I don't get want it. To risk being caught using it. <laughs> and again, like I, I could be a little bit more forgivable in this round because the players trying to defend on that side of the map only had themselves pistols. If I was a Carmen Core fan, like a I would be at least, but if that's mauled in out of control at what more. has happened to, to my organization. I'd be losing my fucking mind. <laughs> Now that XMS has got that ultimate online, I really want to see it get used. But the problem is, every single time he's based himself out towards B, we are. He's going, a. He's going he's back towards a retake. Spot, that's that's what I, I yeah. I mean, that's what I didn't really get about. I don't know. I mean, I guess at that point there hadn't been any games, so I guess the fans were just annoyed because they were hoping the team would be good. But the common core, like fan base, is enormous. It, they need to be pushing for change on how this team was built and how it's been run this year. Lockdown's gone instantly here, but that's also a big defensive tool disappeared for the post planters. Unfortunately, there are no protocols on how to get into this site. Shin gets two, but there's a backstab coming through and it's all left down to Nuzera. And he gets fucking styled on by Twister. Uh, let, let's just have a look at what goes through here, how they get into sight. So, Nevera drops down, one up top. I mean, to be honest, it's actually not that bad. They don't have a smoke that they can use. They don't have a flash that they can even use here. But they don't do a good job of clearing Twiston at all. Yeah. Afterwards, they literally waited until they destroyed the lockdown, <sighs> then put the wall down. It's almost like Vitality expected that play. 
The scream has double blast backs. Yeah, I mean that would be useful. But also, if you're playing retake, why are you wasting all of your sky util earlier in the round? Like, if your game plan is to play that retake. Molsi double blast packs into his own nade there. Which it, people were clowning on Ardis for doing that, but that's genuinely something that raised players do quite a lot. Because you want to be like blast packing into the area that your nade has just cleared people out from because you catch people while they're running and while they can't shoot back very well. But sometimes it also means you kill yourself by accident. Bit rough, but. Now, that wasn't his nade. That was Screams. Monkey Meat Love, thank you for the 100 bits. It's almost a reverse of Fnatic. Fnatic's Valorant is Poggers. Now down to himself again. But their lol was an absolute dumpster fire at one point. It's At least Karma Core still have their Rocket League team. Yeah. When does the slaughter end? Probably in about I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I wasn't even yeah, looking at what Navarro was doing there. Let, let's have a quick you, you guys are going crazy about it, so Navarro has <laughs> The reason that happens is because he only has a shorty chat. So he knows he can't get the kill anyway unless he smokes and is able to run closer to them. That looks so silly, but it's because Nevera has a shorty. Alright, Nevera now has an op. Double updraft. It's a decent idea. That's their mitigation for if somebody's like, you know, holding ramp and stopping these players from getting up there. Nevera might find a lot of value with this. Okay. Sender trying to time his peak there as the wall goes up. And um, allows Nevera to spot where he's going. Pushing back over towards Nuzera here. Nuzera, a one minute in the round, has no sky utility, by the way. And Bone Cold's just gotten past the Jiggle Peak completely in mid. And a chance for Twiston to get that opener. First time, of course, we're seeing the operator actually on either side. So it definitely is a change, but... Nuzera's got one of his flashes back, immediately uses it to try and reclear mid. But, I mean, they could be in rope or they could be in vents, so that gets them absolutely no information. And there's 30 seconds left, and he's going to have to retake in a second, probably. But all good. All right. Surely Shin can hold this down, though. This should be a round for Carmen Core. This should be a round for Carmen Core. Oh. Nice, nice. Good from Scream. No way Bone Cold hits that. No fucking way. Okay, but the spike. Destrian can't be allowed to get the spike. The spike was dropped in heaven. Chat, the spike was down in heaven. And Destrian TP'd up top. And they didn't kill him. And they lost the round. Of the last two attempts on this map, right? <laughs> that is one of the worst rounds I've seen from Carmen Core because they had all the ways in the world to win that. To be honest, mad unlucky for them that Bonkor gets that. But he, you see how he jiggles a little bit, waits for Nevera to uh, to spam, and then Bonkor shoots back at the tracers. That is very nice from Bonkor. But that is that is insane. That is insane. It feels morbid on the other side. Got two rounds. Takas Logan. Dude, Logan used to be a freak as well, and I haven't seen him play in a long time. I don't think Nismo. I mean, Nismo's just got way too many opportunities, in my opinion, next year for, like, Americas. But maybe it would be something he'd be intrigued in. Bait out aggression. And when you're up against a double duelist, this is expected. You're going to have one site which is anchored up by your side. Takas Logan and the tanker on N8. It's going to be set up around that paranoia and basically using those duelists for the firefight. Yeah, John Cutie. I don't know whether he'd be. I, I don't know very much about those guys and their, like, uh, confidence calling in French, two French players as well. Like, I think they'll probably use quite a lot of different words for things. I'm just guessing here. 
Because my sister speaks like, pretty fluent French, and she said she was really struggling to understand some of her French Canadian friends. Oh my god, she moved 3k. Kamen Core are going to get their second round. They always lose 13 12, chat. Uh, sorry, 13 2. They always lose 13 2. I don't think he's going to be able to stop them getting their second round. That's something at least for Carmine Corp. And again, I, 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 Oops. It's going back to the beginning, talking about roles, I, I want to see Shin back on an initiator. I don't really care what it is. or even on Oh, John Cutie isn't Canadian. Sorry, he's Moroccan, isn't he? Roster. My they bad. Sorry, we were talking about the French Canadians, so I mixed 3K, it up. The other is around, he got a 4K. Exactly. Yeah, I so, I mean, John Cutie viper, should be comfortable IGing in French, I would imagine. Ability. I mean, yeah, definitely. If uh, if, yeah. if that's something he was interested in and Enzo wasn't, yeah, could be. So for me, it's got to come from more players than just the one. It's got to come down to the strategy as well. And that was a nice slow round up through mid that clearly Vitality didn't expect. But then we saw them push mid once in that entire first half. I'm not going to lie. If I was Vitality here, I'd be saying we should force just for the memes of winning 13-2. Vitality at lock -in were known for their second rounds. These pistols were ever deadly, so something you have to be oh careful my. about. Nice shot Good shoot from, from XMS. XMS. Maybe starting to wake up a little bit on this attack side. You can see why XMS I, I like he was, was so good playing Chamber. I mean, he's headhunter. When it came to the first half, having to be and that sort of defender. And the pistol aim just in general. Like that first bullet accuracy is good, very but fast my God, does it bait him into buying now, Sheriff way too often. still be playing solo in a lot of rounds, but more chances for him to try and find that space. All good. For a few seconds. Shin, All good. Don't worry. That's fine. Almost whips out big time, but Twiston last left alive, and I think Vitality know that it's got to come in this next round. Of course, the goal here. So, chat. Once this spike explodes, you will have officially witnessed Carmen Core's best performance on split in three weeks. Now already, a couple of rifles, XMS. I will expect him to buy up another one as well. Like you cannot play this as a traditional. Holy pog champ! Because of how many rounds you have left to play with. What a performance from Carmen Core! The improvement is truly unbelievable. Kind of makes you think back to our game from yesterday, Fnatic against Liquid. You know, we saw I'm disappointed, honestly, that we don't get to see more of Carmen Core on the attack side because that was where and I was really more. Liquid, we even said, okay, yeah. you got six rounds on the board, you bounce back a little bit, you put up a fight and showed that actually it wasn't completely down to the team mismatch, that it was just that Fnatic. Carmen Core are going for a bonus round here. A little bit, maybe quite by which normally you lose bonus rounds but you do damage to your opponent's economy that would put them at 312 down <laughs> with an economy advantage so that's that's pretty funny early kill coming up um i mean if we want to actually analyze this i like the wall the the orb, it's orb. good in terms of the Viper. They've well, taken mid the quickly. Machine. There's still a mid the on the clock here. They don't have any ability to pressure towards A particularly. But... Are they going to be able to win this round against three? Very possible still. Yeah. Yeah, actually pretty decent from Carmen Corp. They spray into the smoke at the back, get that kill. They go one for one trading against the player that was close. That's decent. And then they get into the site at the same time. And they kill the third player. Flashes going out as well. Now they are all somewhat isolated into this corner. And there's a pit down, so Vitality should not be able to win this round. Being I mean, actually pretty decent watching. from Carmen Core this round. to see if anybody attempts to play outside of the pit. Instead, they are all somewhat trapped in towards this corner. Tristan's going to pop his dash there, look for like one peek in and dash away. The double swing out works wonderfully. And now send there's not enough time here, but they can make it pretty expensive for Carmen Core. The thing is, this was a bonus round for Carmen Core anyway. So, um, the fact that Carmen Core have two rifles and all of their players could buy, uh, this is, this is decent. This is a very good half, a uh, very good start to the half here. Very good start. 
and obviously I, I am actually quite happy they just used the Viper's Pit to confirm the round. Yeah. Like, that, that was the main thing, like Shin starting to... Scream really used the Blast Pack to break Scream the wall again. The -frag, which, again he needs to read the, read the patch so notes, far. doesn't he? If he can come online, maybe there's a difference, but we have been waiting for that over the last few weeks. Oh, fuck off. All right. Why have we got Nevera attack side opping immediately? Going. This round, you'd expect so. Dude, what, what's the need? Coming out with shorties, sheriffs, you name it. Good punish from Scream, actually. And I like that they're getting in here quick. The smokes are slow. Isn't that a shit smoke on Heaven? Hasn't Nevera just missed his smoke, Heaven? Really expecting much from this point onwards. Operator up, Scream just farming up those frags. Mm, it's a bad smoke, but... Has. To be Scream is actually playing inside of it and gets three kills. So, I, I like the way that Scream has played this round. I think he's played that really nicely. He, he realizes where the cam gets placed from, so he swings immediately and punishes the Cypher. And then he blast packs up and makes up for the fact that Nevera fucked in it. Actually, you know what? Vitality... Four rounds lost in a row. Definitely not on purpose, chat. There's no way that Nevera is opping on Omen, fucking up his smokes on um, Ascent mid, and then deliberately putting a crack in that first screen. I just don't believe it. All right, so what's Nevera going to be doing with his op? Nevera's op is over on this side. Previously, Carmen Core were using their dog at the beginning of the round to push Scream onto aggressive positions. They might dog off the rip here uh, for Nevera to op. Twist and zopping down here to start. So they've got Twist and opping, and then I assume Twist and is going to move away. Because they have a full cipher set up here that sees over the top of the wall anyway. So it just seems like too much. Like if Twiston just ops, like I would want Twiston to... Br oh, the blue one didn't clear Twiston's position. And Nevera did not get set up there. Nuzera only used one flash. Right, so they didn't get any information that the operator's playing here. It feels very heavily B main stacked right now from Vitality. But that is where Carmen Core have been playing. Uh, I won't forget. And they have him, kind him of, a, the the uh, you know, a wall that should delay this. things a little. And I can only assume Twiston hears the alarm bot going down. Utility coming around Trailblazer ready to go Maybe here from Nuzera. Are you ready? In we go. The dog clears. They dash away. Scream gets traded. I mean, very ambitious for Scream to try and use his ult to kill the jet. But the jet did get stunned, so not the stupidest idea. The operator finding a trade kill as well. 3v2. Ah, Twiston's ready for the peak from Rivera. So now it's a one Whoa! Oh, that Holy doing, shit! Just out of Wait, what in the Lord's name is that? Why doesn't he go to the? Why doesn't he go sight and pick up a rifle? Up six and keeping that post time out wing going. I'm curious if that was what he meant to do. I don't think so. <laughs> it's such a I don't it's see like why <laughs> Twiston played it like that. Oh, you know where the Killjoy is because KC, you saw the turret getting placed. You up. know that they're in just B main. The entry, There's so many rifles down again, on site. I think he accidentally dashes forwards, but why he quite goes for the reswing <laughs> immediately, I'm not Definitely. sure. Either that or it's more when he stepped down. Yeah, I know the dash is a misclick, but I'm just saying, why does he re-swing in with an op? That seems like a very well, bad way of he's playing. He's gone that. from having an operator in one round to a bucky in the next, but he does have a blade storm behind him. Alright, so they're exactly taking the operator for a walk in B main here, madness, trying to get it posted. He is one of the maestros of the shotgun, so when he rates it highly. And although there's some financial constraints in this round. Just look at the ultimates that are available right now. Having that blade. I am liking the way that Carmen Core are taking well. are space dominating in, that in the first 30 they're seconds. The need here for a full and buy, but it's they get really posted on that angle. I mean, they're ready to counter that. That was really good from Carmen Core. That is good. Now, I'll tell you what Carmen Core are not doing. They are never applying pressure A ramp. And I think at some point here, Vitality should be able to get the read on that and start stacking. B and mid more heavily. The difference maker finds one and dashes away. Well, immediately pushed up by the last two, but he's way out of dodge. Yeah, and there's multiple players. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to be heaven. The what the hell are you guys doing? Yeah, What's Bonkold? Not really being covered at the moment, but Twiston's going to try and thread that needle. Okay, so Bonkold now is facing towards 
And in fact, KC are going to start doubling Wait, are they going towards, towards A? Maybe oh, there's 30 seconds left. Vitality have a stack over here, but it means that Destrian can win the round. Oh, look how awkwardly issues. they're scaling here. Look how awkward they are. Oh, they just don't have a clue how to do that. And now with they don't have a go. clue they're what they're say, doing. There's no chance of them winning this round. Just fade away and hold onto the guns. Oh, dude, Carmen Core started this round so well. This was a half by, well, like a weird broken by kind My of round. Favorite round. Favorite like, fan. It wasn't a half by really, because Twiston has knives and the rest of them have rifles. So. It was still a good buy from Vitality, but Carmen Core had that man. They had that, and then they did one of their classic 30-second pivots and fucked it. They, they literally had a pinch into the B side. They had full B heaven control, and they had full B main control. They could have just pinched B, and then they went and fucked the dog. Not rotating back. They screwed the pooch. And he gets both the frags needed of him. Easy pickings in the end. That's a classic now, phrase, chat. Don't blame me. Blame the person that came up with it. That is a classic off. phrase. And a, a slight fake comeback, it seems. Six more in a row needed. Whoa. Oh, that's not gone to I can't believe Twiston is going to re-challenge that. Bro. He does still have dash. All right, so this Viper setup is now actually threatening A. So Shin has not been doing this previously. It's been towards B. And this means that now mid-round re-clear of B main is coming through. Can't do that very easily against the Viper setup. But they're going to do it here against the Killjoy. Uzera with a flash there. I'm not really sure what it accomplishes. What in the fucking Lord's name is Molsi doing? Molsi has his ult there. He could just play so much more safely. But Bonkhold has dominated B main. So their reclear of B main has paid dividends. Destrian with the final bullet kills Nuzera. And now Shin, who would have been on the reclear here anyway with the spike is just left in an unwinnable situation. Twiston's already here, Nevera doesn't have it. I mean, there's 30, wait, maybe, maybe possible? Maybe possible? He has his smoke to try and cross. Little, uh, little swoop peek attempt. Nevera not holding anything for him. Misses the flick. Dies in tragic fashion. I'm not lying, chat. That was the best we've seen Karmacore play on split. 